it is vitally important to make office documents accessible. There are a number of techniques and guidelines that people can use to make those documents accessible, but it's very easy to overlook something. That's why some office suites have accessibility evaluation built into or available as an extension. For example, Microsoft Office 2010 has a built-in accessibility checker. It covers Word, PowerPoint and Excel. For OpenOffice and LibreOffice, Accessibility Evaluation and Repair is available as an extension. You can download this from SourceForge, it's called Access ODF, and it's very easy to install. Once I have it installed, you can check Office documents, not only the ODF format, which is the native format of OpenOffice and LibreOffice, but also Microsoft, the Microsoft Word format, either Doc or DocX. So, in Access ODF, you can, after you have, you, you check your document, and then, it, so you get a list of issues, or uh, errors and warnings, and for many of those issues, many of those errors or warnings, there is a repair, repair function available. Sometimes it is automatic, for example, an empty heading is automatically repaired to an empty paragraph, or sometimes it is semi-automatic, for example, if you have an image without a text alternative, you are guided to the dialogue where you can add a text alternative. This saves you the time and effort of going through the menus and finding those dialogues yourselves. Now, the accessibility of these documents is not only important when you exchange the documents. It's also important because you often export Office documents to other formats. For example, PDF, which is very common, which is used on the web a lot. You can also use ODF as a source for other formats specific to accessibility, for example, Braille and DAISY. And for Braille and DAISY, we all have also developed a few extensions. The first one, the oldest one, is called ODT to DAISY. It is also available on SourceForge, and it allows you to export to digital audiobooks. Um, now, a digital audiobook is, it's, contains both the text of your documents and the audio. And it is possible to have the text highlighted while it is being, being spoken. So if you have a, a, a desktop-based, a PC-based data player, you can have your synchronization of the sentences while they are being sp spoken. Uh, for, for Braille, we also have an extension called OTT to Braille, which is also available on SourceForge. Um, and it is an extension that allows you to very, very, in a very detailed way, to define how your, each feature of your document is, ex is exported to Braille. For example, how headings are exported, how many lines you want above and below them, for example, or if, if you want them aligned to the left or centered. Uh, the same applies to tables, how you want tables to be converted to Braille or lists, etc. And the idea is this, of, is to, to turn OpenOffice or LibreOffice into a real Braille authoring environment. And that way, you can export to Braille and you don't need to edit your Braille codes after exporting, because if you need to, to edit the Braille codes after exporting, and you discover that something in the source document needs to be changed, then the whole process of exporting and applying those changes to the Braille codes needs to be repeated. So, putting to Braille is meant to save you that effort.